This is the 2021 Mercedes AMG GLE 53 Coupe. It's intended for the buyer that wants a little bit of style to go along with their luxury SUV. The question becomes, does this fastback styling make up for the increased price point and decreased utility? For some buyers, it might. To understand this thing, you have to understand the four-door coupe craze. Mercedes-Benz pioneered it with the original CLS sedan. And what they showed was, as long as you put a good looking sloping roof on a car, you can take away a seat, you can take away trunk space, rear seat, headroom, doesn't matter, people will pay more for it. Call it the price of fashion. Well, this is the 53 version of the AMG GLE Coupe, not to be confused with the 63. What's the difference? Well, the 53 has more power than the standard GLE Coupe, in this case, 429 horsepower, and it handles a little bit better. The 63, meanwhile, which you might call a real AMG, has 603 horsepower and handles much better. However, it does cost $40,000 more. The funny thing about these SUV coupes is, from the B pillar forward, they're identical to the regular SUV. Now, since this one is an AMG, it's got an AMG specific grille. It's supposed to look more aggressive, and I think it does. When it comes to the wheels, 21 inch wheels are standard. These are 22s, and while that is ridiculous, it's one of those funny maxims in the car design world where the bigger the wheel, the better the vehicle looks, and I think the big wheels help. Starting here, the roof line begins to slope down like a coupe. Some people really like this, and that's why they build these vehicles. You know, from where I'm standing, I don't know. However, remember, you're supposed to be sitting in your car, and from this angle, it does look pretty good. This is a luxury performance SUV, and the interior reflects that. The luxury part is, of course, leather. If it's not covered in leather, it's covered in metal, aluminum in this case, or Alcantara. Aluminum sporty, Alcantara is really sporty. The steering wheel's wrapped in it, the A pillar, the roof. Aside from that, if you've sat in a Mercedes within the last five years, it's kind of what you'd expect. You know, you have the Burmeister cool looking speaker grills, there's wireless charging, you have four vents here instead of two, just a modern Mercedes. But the real story is the m -Bucks system, Mercedes-Benz user experience. It's these two 12.3 inch touchscreens and it's so feature rich and I think what happens with a lot of people even professional car reviewers is they get in and they're just they're sort of daunted by how much it does and they kind of write it off saying oh it's confusing but once you live with it once you learn all that it's capable of it's an incredibly impressive system one of the most high-tech if not the most high-tech infotainment systems out there couple highlights you know you go to comfort here and this controls everything from seat massage to seat kinetics to the lighting controls you have all the amg pages which even has like your customizable drive mode so if sport plus isn't you know exactly what you need go ahead and change the output of the engine change the dynamics change the suspension change the way the exhaust sounds very cool system I happen to think that good technology is a luxury item. So if you take all the technology stuff and all the performance stuff, you really do realize that the inside of this thing is appropriate for a nice luxury performance SUV. Since this is an AMG, performance matters. And performance always starts with what's under the hood. In the case of the GLE 53, it is one of my favorite modern engines. It's Mercedes incredible 48 volt, inline straight sixes. This thing is both turbocharged and supercharged. However, the supercharger is electric. This is a Formatic Plus Mercedes. What that means is it's a very sophisticated all-wheel drive system that routes power wherever it needs to go. That power is fed to the wheels via a nine-speed automatic transmission that Mercedes builds themselves. The one thing about these mid-sized Mercedes SUVs is that they're heavy. Being heavy is not only the enemy of handling, but of fuel economy as well. Not so hot. However, look at the competition. BMW X6, Audi Q8, Porsche Cayenne Coupe, they're all heavy. They all get pretty bad fuel economy. So this one isn't worse than any of the others. However, I think the advantage that the GLE 53 Coupe has is the engine. It's so cool, it's so sophisticated, and because of that built-in hybrid motor, you get that extra torque when you're accelerating as well. 
In terms of safety, no ratings agency has crashed a GLE coupe yet. However, Mercedes-Benz has a long tradition of safety innovation. There's a laundry list of active safety features, including pre-safe. What's pre-safe? When the GLE determines that a crash is imminent, in other words, the SUV is convinced it's gonna crash, it does a number of things to protect you. Let's talk pricing. Not cheap, but it is a Mercedes AMG. The GLE 53 Coupe begins at just over $77,500. Throw in a couple of options and these gigantic, though good looking wheels, and the price balloons to over $103,000. Earlier, we talked about the high power, high performance GLE 63 Coupe. That starts at over $117,000. Once again, they're not cheap. However, I do think you can justify the price, not so much through the styling, but rather you get a very sophisticated engine as well as Mercedes feature rich m -Bucks technology. The one thing you should know about the Mercedes AMG GLE 53 Coupe is this. It might look like a styling exercise, but in reality, it's a very high-tech luxury SUV. Initially, you might be attracted to the AMG GLE 53 Coupe because of the way it looks, but I feel you're gonna fall in love with it because of what's underneath the metal. To check out our latest vehicle rankings, go to motortrend.com cars.